Happy Sunday everyone. Welcome back to another video. My name is Tawanda and I'm the Migraine Craft and Diva. And on this channel, I do decorating on a budget, DIYs, and hauls with a sprinkle of migraine enlightenment. In today's video, I will be doing some Halloween DIYs. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with DIY number one. I have this uh, pumpkin from Dollar General. I have some spinel, a spin, a finial and some wooden blocks. I have um, a window clean from Dollar General. And then I also have this um, skeleton hand that I picked up at Joann's. I think I paid less around $3 for it. It was on sale and I also had a coupon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just add some of the spiders to the pumpkin. And then I'm gonna take the finial. I was gonna use the wooden blocks, but I actually ended up, I didn't like that. So I ended up using the finial. So I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue that to the backside of the bones. I'm gonna put it in between just so that it'll be more sturdier. And so um, when the pumpkin is actually in the hand that it will um, be able to sit there and not move or fall out. So, and the reason why I'm not going to hot glue the pumpkin or candy dish to the um, skeleton hand is because I want to be able to remove it and be able to clean it and wash it out. So once I have the finial um, hot glued onto the skeleton hand, I am going to um, go ahead and just place the pumpkin back into the hand and... Um, I will actually, you'll see I'll put some candy in it for the reveal. But yeah, that is going to be it for this DIY. This is probably the easiest DIY that I did in this video. So let me know what you think. So for DIY number two, I have a pool noodle. I have some napkins from the Dollar General. I have um, some black tea lights, some spiders from Dollar Tree, some garland from Dollar Tree, and then... Um, this candle holder and also, um, and I'm also going to use the pool noodle um, cutting knife that I picked up from Dollar Tree a while ago. And this thing actually does work really good. So here I am just cutting the pool noodle and I'm cutting it at an angle. Um, and I am not measuring, I'm just kind of just eyeballing how I want it and what sizes I want. So I am just, and I'm sorry, I don't have everything in frame. But here you can see, I'm just kind of angling everything. And at first I was just going to do three. And then I decided I was going to do four. And then I just decided to do five. So here I am just cutting everything and getting it to the size that I want. And then once I have it, um, have everything cut, then I'll just kind of try and place it onto this candle stand to, um, just to make sure that it's how I want and just to make sure that I don't want to add any more or if I need to add any more, I will. So it looks good. So this is what I'm going to end up going with. And I just want to correct myself. The um, the glass um, that, the, that I'm going to have the candle sitting on is actually a cutting board and not a candle stand. So here I am just trying to figure out how I'm going to put the LED candles inside of the pool noodle. And I'm just going to take my um, my pen here and just go around and draw a circle. And then I first try to use, um, try to cut it with the box cutter, but I just ended up using scissors to do this. So here I'm just doing that. And so, and also this DIY is a dupe. My husband sent me um, a text message almost two months ago with something similar to well it's not really similar I just kind of did my own thing but something similar to this with the pool noodles and the candles and so I just decided that I would go ahead and just make it for him and actually all of these DIYs are going to be for him because I um, am actually not um, a big Halloween fan <clears throat> so um, but he actually is so all of these DIYs will be for him or he can just put them in his man cave so um, and the picture I believe came from either Instagram or Twitter I can't remember which one and also um, Mackenzie Childs does have something similar on her website which I actually do plan on duping for myself but 
Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, just continue to do this DIY. So here I have those napkins that I picked up from Dollar General that are a dollar. And these are not the best quality napkins. As soon as you start to, um, as soon as I put the Mod Podge on them, they just started to crinkle up. And once I started adding, once I placed them onto the pull noodle, you really have to be really gentle when you are trying to get these in place because they tear easily but um i guess it kind of didn't matter because it's supposed to be like a halloween spooky type thing so i just went ahead and went with it so here i am and what i should have done was when i started to cut those holes out on the first two i stopped because i wanted to go ahead and um you put the napkins onto the pool noodles because i had there's two napkins that I was going to use, two different ones that I was going to use. One on the larger um, candle and then one on the, one of the medium sized candles. But because the, um, the napkins were not the best quality and because they were just kind of tearing up. Um, and I actually thought that the napkin was all of the like buffalo check. Um, the whole napkin was buffalo check, but it was actually just one square of the napkin so I actually I think I ended up using I ended up using three napkins because I had to cut out the squares from three of them so here I'm just showing you what it actually looks like so yeah it's just that one square and it was the same with the striped napkin also so I just cut that square out and um, then I just tried to match the squares up as um, close as I could and um, so yeah and then once i had the um the front two and then there was a gap in the back so i went ahead and just um took the third one cut it in half and placed it at the bottom and top and then that was going to be it for this the uh, for this candle and i went ahead and just set it aside and so because in the middle of the diy because i didn't want to use that napkin i had to change the plans so i actually with the um the other candle I actually ended up using um, the Dollar Tree garland so this is what this is and I was trying to hot glue it and the hot glue was just basically um, kind of just making a hole into the um, the pool noodle and my hot glue gun that I use I have probably four or five different hot glue guns but I like to use this one because it's supposed to be low temperature but for some reason it was extremely hot and um, it was um, melting the pool noodle so here I am just still cutting off some pieces and then I just kind of went with it and just let it just melt because I was actually going to add the hot glue to the tops of the um, candles just to give it the, the effect of the wax melting so I just left it like it was. So here I'm just um, wrapping that garland around this, um, wrapping, it, wrapping the garland around this candle. And then once I have that complete, I'm gonna move on to my next candle. So my next candle, um, I believe is the one that I added a, spire to, a spider to. So I was only gonna add the one spider, but then I actually ended up adding a second one. Um, and what I did was I just took my scissors and then just poked a little hole into, and this is what the finished product looks like so far. So then I have these candle, these spiders from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to take, take that clip off of there and I'm just going to poke a hole with my scissors. And then I'm going to fill that hole up with some glue, with some hot glue. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the spider into the hole. So I was only going to do the one. And then I decided that um, it needed more than one, so I actually ended up adding a, actually ended up adding a second one, but that'll be a little bit later on in the video. And then here I am, just taking the um, glue and just trying to make it look like the wax is melting, um, which I was having a hard time doing that, and the the glue was just kind of going everywhere, and it was not coming out like I want but it, I think it actually still ended up ending um, ended up looking really nice 
So once I have it, like I have the glue like I want, I'm going to take my black acrylic paint and I'm just going to go ahead and um, cover the glue in those areas so that it looks like it's the wax is black and it looks like it's just melting and going down the candle. And I'm also going to cover the blue at the top of the, um, the candle. So, um, originally I was going to do these DIYs probably, I think I was going to do these DIYs over a month ago, but I've been not, I haven't been feeling the best and I had spray painted this, the pool noodle a month ago and I just never got to, um, never started doing these DIYs. So here I am just adding the glue to um, all of the tops of the pool noodles and having it run down. And I'm also going to do it on the one that I um, decoupaged the napkin on also. And then I'm just going to add the black paint to everything just to make sure everything looks the same at the top. And I'm going to go back and um, I will add all of the LED candles from the Dollar Tree onto or into the center of all of the um, all of the um, candles excuse me and then um, so here I'm just adding that glue going down and um, once it's dry and then I have my um, cutting board here that I'm going to use I'm just going to take some and here I am just adding that second spider so um, yeah so then I'm going to take that garland from the Dollar Tree again and I'm going to go ahead and just wrap it around oh, oh I added another spider I, didn't really, I forgot about that so I add, ended up adding another spider to the smaller candle and then um, once I had that then I'm going to take that garland and I'm just going to just put like two dots of glue and hold it there just so that it doesn't come off and then I'm going to go ahead and start to um, place the candles how I want them onto the cutting board. So I'm going to put the, um, once I get all of my candles in place, I'm actually going to end up using some of the Dollar Tree um, double sided tape, which I really like using this stuff because it is like heavy duty. It, it holds every, anything that I've used it on, it holds. So here I'm just, um, placing it how I want and also too if I want to move the you know change the candles around I can I can just lift them up and um yeah easy peasy so here I'm just figuring out how I want my um, candles to go and then I'm going to go ahead and use that double-sided tape and stick them down and then oh as I knocked them over and then um once I have them like I want them, I'm going to um, go ahead and I'm going to add another spider to the side. And that is going to be it for this DIY. Let me know what you think. So we're moving right along. So for this DIY, I have um, some wavy antique wax. I have some black uh, paint. I have these spiders from the Dollar Tree. I have the skeleton pendant from Target. I have um, the skeleton garland from the Dollar General. And then I have this um, picture that I purchased at Kirkland's maybe two years ago that I'm gonna use as a shadow box. And also um, it's gonna be double sided. So basically the side that says um, Hello Autumn will stay on that side so that the sign can be flipped from Halloween back to autumn or from autumn to Halloween. So first I'm gonna go ahead and start off by adding the antique Waverly Wax and I'm gonna go over it with some of the black um, paint and then I'm going to um, take a dry paper towel and I'm just gonna go ahead and just um, go over it, um, wipe it down some just to take off some of the black so that it kind of just give it gives it like an effect of um it almost looks kind of like a burnt orange a little bit when it's up and close um or like fire maybe i don't know but um so here i'm going to take my three skeletons and i'm going to use the string out of the uh, the skeleton pendant 
and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use that to attach um, the skeletons to the picture frame. So I'm going to tie a knot onto the heads of the skeleton. I'm going to start off by doing the first one and then the second two I will actually tie the knot while they're in the box just so that I can try and keep them evenly spaced. And then I'm going to take um, my hot glue and put it on in the edges or the corners of the shadow box and I'm going to glue the strings to the edges of the shadow box and I'm going to take some of that black paint and just cover the um, cover the glue so that you can't see it and sorry about having my head in the picture but I was really concentrating on trying to uh, get these skeletons evenly spaced um, so once I have everything how I want it, I'm going to go ahead and like I said, I'll go ahead and get them glued in with the hot glue. And then I'm going to take one of those spiders from Dollar Tree and I'm going to take the, um, the light out of the, or the glow stick from the skeleton pendant. And I'm going to go ahead and take some of that double sided tape and, and tape it to the inside of the spider but before I do that I'm going to take that spider and I'm going to add some of that some antique wax and some of the black paint just to kind of take off the um because it's really it has that glitter on it so I just kind of want to tone down the glitter and then I'll go ahead and um, attach it to the side of the box now once I have it attached to the side of the box I you really couldn't see the light my I thought that, well, my, it, my vision was it would have like this pinkish purple, um, glow onto the skeletons from the inside of the, um, spider. But you, once I did that and you really couldn't see it even with the lights off. So I ended up taking, removing the, um, the light and just adding one of those LED lights that I used in the previous, um, DIY. And I tried to um, adhere it with just some of that double-sided tape, but it was um, it didn't it didn't sit flat on the bottom of the spider, so I actually ended up having to take the spider off, and I um, just had to hot glue around the edges of the um, spider. So here I was just showing you what they what the spider looked like with the um, the paint on it and then there's the light that I the pendant light that I was going to use so um and once I have that complete and you'll see here what I'm doing um but uh yeah so I would just like to take the time out to thank you all for watching my video today if you're new to my channel welcome thank you for stopping by I do greatly appreciate it to all of my current subscribers and my new subscribers and my old subscribers, I greatly and really do appreciate you watching my videos on Sunday. Um, you are definitely helping my channel grow and I like, and I would just like to thank you for um, subscribing and sharing and, make, and putting comments in, this, in my videos. Um, it, I am learning a lot from your comments and I do really do appreciate you all for watching my videos. So here I am just trying to um like i said i was going to take that double-sided tape and just try it because i was trying not to take the spider off and i was just trying to um add it to the um the spider without add the led light to a spider without removing it but i had to and so here i'm just hot gluing it back on to the um shadow box and that is it for this diy let me know what you think um yeah i really like the way it turned out and here I am just adding that light back to the skeleton. So we are moving on to our last and final DIY. Originally I was going to do five, but I only, I could only get four done. So here I have some of the creepy cloth from Dollar Tree. I have, um, this black, black rose from Dollar Tree. And then I have some of that plaster from Dollar Tree, this, um, wood round, which is not really a wood round, like an MDF round from Dollar Tree. And I have, um, the plates from Dollar General and I also have some LED lights and I'm going to use the antique wax and some of the black paint. So first I um, filled the hole with the um, plaster and then I went ahead and um, 
use antique wax on to to stain the MDF circle and then I thought it was a little too light so and then I went back and added darkened it up with the black so I'm only going to do around the edges because I really didn't need to do the middle part because I'm going to add the plate to it so here I have this black rose these black roses from the Dollar Tree and the black roses actually have spiders on them the lights on them and it also has like some little um like twigs on them that I'm also going to use on this DIY so here I'm taking my LED lights and I'm just trying to get proper placement because my what my vision is to cut little holes into the candles and to place the LED lights into the candles so that it looks like they're burning. So and this wire is um, is bendable. So I am just kind of kind of just I am well not kind of I'm placing them where I want it and then bending them so that I can make sure that it's all going to fit and that I have enough lights for everything that I want to do. So here I am taking the plate just to make sure that I have it like I want it. And then, um, so originally when I was doing this, I was only going to do the candles. And then as I was doing it I decided that I once I started putting the LED lights into the candle I decided that I was going to also um, put the lights behind the eyes also so here I am um, just making sure that it's like I want and then I'm going to go ahead and take the um, box cutter and start to cut just little small holes into the candles just to be able to place that that LED light in there so that you'll be able to see it and so once I have it placed, once I have the hole in and I have it placed how I want, I'm just going to take some scotch tape and um, tape it to the back of the plate. So here I'll just let you see what I am doing. Just um, so and I'll tell you, this was really difficult trying to get these in here perfectly without having the wire showing. But I love the finished product and the way that it turned out. I think it came out really nice. So I can't really, I can't wait for you to see the end um, product. So here I am and here I am with my head in frame again because I, I am really concentrating. If you, anytime you see my head in a video, I am really concentrating on what I am doing. So here I am just kind of... Um, uh, just taping it back taping it onto the back so and this is what it's looking like and now I'm going to place my eyes how I want them and then I'm going to just place little holes where I think they should be and um, I'll go ahead and continue to add the LED lights to those areas and then once I have it all complete I'm going to um, put the um, so what I'm going to end up doing is taking that second plate and I'm going to glue both plates, glue the top plate and the second, the second plate together so that um, the lights are covered and protected. And so that it just looks nicer too. So once I have everything complete, then I'm going to um, move on to the next part of this DIY and I believe... I'm going to add, well, no, I'm going to add a third plate and I'm going to add some of that crepey cloth. So I'm going to cut it about, I think I cut about four inches of it off. Look at how good that is. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. I love it. So I would like to say that I have never done any Halloween DIYs before. And this is actually my first time ever doing any Halloween DIYs. So I would really like to know um, what you all think think about these DIYs and if there's anything that I could have done differently or if there's anything that you could have done different do that you would have done differently and um just let me know which one you like the best because I for my first time I actually like them all so it's kind of hard to pick which one but I really do I actually kind of like this one because this might be my favorite because just the idea of just using a plate to do this DIY I just thought oh I don't even know. As soon as I saw these plates, I knew I wanted to do some type of DIY with them. But this wasn't what I had planned. So, but you know, things, 
you know, learn your craft and your ideas change as your craft. So, but here I am just taking another plate. This is my third plate and I'm taking that creepy cloth and I'm just trying to spread it out. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glue and some more of that scotch tape just to keep it in place. And then, um, once I do that, I'll go ahead and add the plates back on top of that. And I'm going to take my LED lights and I'm going to go ahead and string them, string them around the plate. And then I'm going to take the creepy cloth and I'm going to pull it over all of it and pull it over the, um, the MDF round. And, um, once I have it all hot glued to, um, and I just eyeball this when I hot glued it onto the MDF board. And so here I am, I'm going to go ahead and just start stretching out that, um, that creepy cloth. And I'm going to take, and I'll go ahead and hot glue the top plate to the other plate. And then I'm, here I am just trying to figure out how I want to um, do this. So I decided to put the, um, the lights up under the cloth and I'm just going to use some tape just to put those on there. Cause I didn't really want to use a whole lot of glue and you can barely, you can even see the tape. So, um, I'm going to, like I said, stretch out this cloth and I'm going to take some of the glue and some of the tape and I'm going to, um, tape and glue it to the back of the board. And then I'll take some of that packaging, um, paper and, um, I'll cover that up and I'm going to go ahead and attach the um battery pack to the back of the round and this is what it's looking like so far and then like i said i'm going to just use that hot glue get it all adhered i'm going to take some of the um those spiders and some of that trim off of the um the roses i'm going to um, add the spiders and i'm going to take that um i think it's like like little stems you can see there on the side there and I'm going to kind of outline the head the skeleton head and kind of have it up under the bird so it looks like it the crow excuse me so that it looks like it's on like it's standing on the um the stem and that is going to be it for this DIY and uh yeah like I said these are this is my first time ever doing any Halloween DIY so I would really like to know what you all think of this uh this video um but yeah let me know what you think and let me know which one of these is your favorite so once I have the spiders come um place how I want them and I have that um the stem how I want it I'm going to go ahead and just place the picture onto one of those um picture frame holders but if you would like you could also add um a hanger to the back and you can hang this on one of your doors and i'll go ahead and um glue the battery pack to the back and that is going to be it for this diy let me know what you think And that concludes today's video. I would like to thank you for spending part of your Sunday with me. And if you like what I'm doing, please like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And like I always say, be nicer, be kinder. God will love you for it. And I hope you have a blessed day. And I will see you next Sunday. Goodbye.